Welcome, folks. This is Ken with Pro and Ground Services. If it ain't green, it ain't green. I look about services, how to do videos, and even some work that we've done recently. And all the work we do, everything from what you need to drainage, irrigation service, new installs, all of that. Remember, if it ain't green, it ain't green. And welcome to the Pro Green family. All right, folks, uh, this is a timer programming tutorial on the ESP3, uh, on the ESP Me 3. Okay, you can see his Wi Fi link ready. And I'm basically going to walk you through on how to program this timer. The sun's kind of blinging, but you see it's on. Put a little close there, you see it's on. Okay. The client had upgraded from an original clock. Now, it, it's the same brand, but it's just a regular ESP me. It, it, it's not Wi Fi, and basically the faceplate went out. Okay? So, if you have an ESP3 or ESP me 3 timer, I'm going to show you how to program it, okay? So, basically, I have the dial turned, okay? It, it was right here before. We have it on date and times, okay? Today is the 19th, it's April 19th, 2021. So what you wanna do with the dial on date and times, you see right here, it has the daylight blinking. Okay, so we're going to hit the positive Okay, that, that's the day side. And we're gonna go all the way to the 19th. Okay. It says 19th, okay. Then, if you want to advance it over, okay, you hit this button right here. It's April. So we hit the plus button. Okay, April. As you can see already, it's Monday, April, okay. And then if, if, well, the clock is gonna do the rest, all right? But you keep advancing it over until you get to the time, okay? You gotta keep advancing it over. These buttons just carry you over. So I can go back, you see I went to, I can do all that. But let's go back to the time, okay? It is, let's see here, check my phone. Give me one second. Let's see. All right, it is 10.37. Okay, I showed you how to advance the date and times. So it's 10.37, okay? So we're going to, it's already at a.m. So we're gonna keep advancing it until it says 10, okay? Now to go to minutes, you hit this, this button here and go over, okay? Until it says 10.37, but I'll make it 10.38 because the lag time. You gotta watch that thing will speed up on you. Okay. 1038. Okay. Now, start times. This is this is where a lot of people mess up. If you have a residential home, all you need is one, one, okay, one start time. You don't need three or four because what'll happen is you will put a bunch of start times. Like for example, you would go here. Right, you, excuse me, you, 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 you'd go to second and you would hit this. You know what that means? It means your irrigation is just gonna come on again. It'll basically 
never shut off. Okay, you need one start time. We'll leave that off. Let's go back to one. Okay, and here in Orlando, Florida, I normally go my customers for three o'clock in the morning. Okay, three a.m. in the morning. Okay, one start time. Okay, this customer has seven zones because there's seven wires hooked up. Okay, so. I'm gonna take this dial here and go to run times. Okay, you see section one is lighting up. See, section one's lighting up. Right now that's 10 minutes. Let's give it, let's give it 30. We're at the plus is how you dictate the minutes. Okay, let's give it 30 because it's real mushy around here in Orlando. All right, now we're gonna advance it to two. Right? 30 minutes again. We'll just keep doing that until we get to seven because all, all this customer has is seven zones. Four. You see, I keep hitting that button, that uh, right arrow button. after this all he has a seven all right now that being said zones are zones are up okay now we know it comes out of three and at seven zones 30 minutes apiece so once you total up the total you know run times that's when it will be off like for example uh one to two that's an hour three to four that's another hour five to six so you got three hours and 30 minutes you got three hours and 30 minutes of irrigation time so if it starts at three it will be done at 6 30 okay right before the, the the water restrictions kick in okay now days see that dial okay you see how monday is lighting up this customer can only run on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So all the other days have to shut off. Okay. Off Monday. Tuesday's off. Wednesday stays on. You see I hit the plus for Wednesday. Thursday's off. Friday's off. Saturday's on. And Sunday's off. Okay. Now, depending on where you live, what kind of water you have, you know, you can customize it, but the dial has to be on watering days, as you can see. Okay. Now, we put it back on auto, and now the clock is programmed, okay? It has, the clock is telling me, you see that cloud on? It's telling me that it's been raining, which it has been. The rain has just left. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to turn it on here in a few. Okay, now, so basically, you now want to see it turn on. Okay, you see that, that button here with the arrow? It says hold start to advance. You hold that for three seconds. And then you go from there, okay? You, 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 you hold that button to advance is on one. I'll show you. I'll turn it off for a second. Okay. Now, I'm going to hold that button here. And you see one comes on. Okay. And then if you want to, if you wanted to advance it, hit again real quick. And two will come on. Okay, until you go to your desired zone. Okay, three. See, four. 
And as you can see, they're still, see? You, you can literally hear it back there coming on. Okay. Five. Six. It's actually right here. Let's see it pop up. Where's she at? There you go. There you go. That's six, okay? Okay. And then seven. Okay. But then once you have advanced through, that's that's really it. If you're if you're done seeing what you gotta see, you turn it off, wait for three seconds, then you put it back on auto. You must leave it on auto. Now the clock will hold the program that you stored in. And that's basically it. You don't need to touch the programming. These timers have built-in uh, batteries, and they save the memory. So if you have a power surge, you don't have to do none of this again. Remember, all you need is one start time. One start time. You have a crazy water bill if you put multiple start times. Okay, one start time. One. Okay. And that's a little tutorial on how to do this clock. Okay. Program ground services if it ain't green and green. And don't forget to subscribe. And this is a tutorial on the ESP Me 3 timer, Wi-Fi. Okay. You can buy the receiver separate. Okay.